Welcome everyone to another episode of Brian's Action Figure Reviews. Today we've got a brand new G.I. Joe Classified series. This one has been backpacking through Europe for the past four months. Or at least that's what I like to think because this, like all Hasbro Pulse G.I. Joe figures, is about four months behind everybody else. This is Mole Rat, the um, kind of toxic zombie G.I. Joe figure. So yes, I got this from Hasbro Pulse EU. Unfortunately, it's not up to the standard of the other Hasbro Pulses across the world. And like I got a Peter Parker and Smite Marvel Legends 2 pack there two weeks ago. And that was also like four months behind everyone else. I don't know why this is happening. It's very annoying. But anyway, I'm not going to prattle on about it. Let's talk about the actual figure itself. Very excited to get this one. It's kind of a zombie-like figure. And yeah, so let's check the box out. So let's check out the box with the help of Cobra Commander here. So as you can see, this is G.I. Joe Classified series. And uh, let's bring it forward. Cobra Mole Rat. Of course, you got the, the Cobra logo alongside Hasbro here. That's not funny at all. Um, you have the the render here for Mole Rat. It looks quite normal. Doesn't uh, He has a load of weapons and stuff here, which you can see along the top. On the side, or on the back, sorry. We can see he is 6.3 inches, 161 millimeters. And again, another picture of the figure and all the bits he comes with. And some head, headlines, headlines. Some highlights of the figure there as well. You got your legalese on the bottom, all the different languages. This is number 94. And you do have a pic of the figure there and the QR code, which will take you to the website and show all his specialties and stuff like that. And on the side, you got this awesome picture with his head quite exploded. I don't know what's going on there. Again, number 94. So let's get this guy out of the box and up in the swing of a jig. So here is the mole rat out of the box. And this is a very cool looking zombie figure, more or less. Um, yeah, so G.I. Joe doing zombies. Now I do realize there is a really, really cool reason why this guy is all mutated and stuff that I didn't know about before. I did some research into this. And this guy has obviously been, he has been mining Energon. So Dark Energon, that's what this lantern is about as well. We'll go into that a bit more in a while. This whole Transformers crossover is happening in the figures as well, which is really, really cool. I do really like the design of this fella. If you look at his head as he comes back around, he looks as if there's like crystals coming out of his forehead, which is kind of painful. But as you can see, this figure looks really, really nice. We're going to get him down now and talk you through the accessories and stuff. So let's do that and let's get him off the swing of my jig. So with Mole Rat down off the swing of my jig, let's go through his accessories. So he does come with quite a lot. So he comes first like with this lantern slash canister type thing. If you can see that there. So this is supposed to like hold Energon inside it maybe. And that's what the kind of um, the weird looking color is there. And that's really, really cool. He does come with this thing as well, which I thought like was a Ghostbusters trap before, but apparently it is, it's like a tracker, so like a, like a metal detector, but for inner gun. Beep, 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 beep. And uh, he does have this backpack as well, which I can show you right here. Plugs into his back. And this pipe, but he does have a second head too. One with a gas mask on it. When that's on, pipe connects into it very awkwardly and speaking of pipe <laughs> um, he does have a second hose as well which will pop onto that somehow some way but yeah that pops on there as well and will stick onto this I think so yeah he's got a lot of um, the coolest thing though I have to say is the gun so this is his gun it's kind of like a rock cutting type gun but there's an attachment as well that makes it into a bigger gun. And that works as well for this drill that he also comes with. So there's a drill here and that will go onto this. Like so, and you've got, now you've got a proper DeWalt drill. <laughs> so you can pop that off and just be careful when you're separating them because it does get quite tight that you don't break it. Same with this one, gun goes in like that, but it is very difficult to separate them out you could end up breaking something so let's check out the head the head is really really nice it's 
just pop that off now so there you go and it does look really cool now that's what I was saying you can pop this on and it should connect in there but like it won't give you a lot of movement with the head then you get the second one as well like so but like it doesn't give you a lot of articulation unfortunately the minute you move the head these will both pop out so I don't know how viable those are if you're going to use them or not me personally I'll just be using them as a zombie so this head won't even be used I would say because like these come off too easy for me and this isn't great either you can stick the you stick the drill piece onto it I think it goes on underneath and the gun sure will fit on as well like that so you can still fit most of his weapons on him which is good again there isn't really a place for the lantern or the tracker thing he can hold them I suppose but yeah he can almost hold all his weapons like most GI Joes so let's get on to articulation so let's go through the articulation on this fella so the head you get some movement up and down some side to side do the full twist the arms will go all the way around you can get a t-pose there is a little bit of a a butterfly joint in there but it's quite small you do have a bicep swivel a double jointed elbow I have to say now as well when I got this figure first the joints were quite tight there was a lot of movement involved to get them going the hands will go around there is a joint here legs go out full splits there is the drop down hips as well legs go out that far do you have a tight swivel as well do you have double jointed knees and you do have ankle rockers and do go up and down as well and a boot swivel so he does have all the articulation you want this figure is a lot of fun I, I guess like people will army build these and I have to show you that head as well up, from, up close check out the detail on that it's absolutely disgusting in a good way and the outfit as well looks really good it's like um, contoured or whatever the word is looks really really nice he does have that cover logo on the side as well all his pockets look great and yeah so pretty nice figure if I was giving him a mark out of 10 I would give him a 7.5 definitely a really nice figure quite serviceable and will look great especially if you had like five or six of them I think that's where he would come into his own really so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed the review I hope we'll see you on more and thanks for watching see you later bye yo joe